Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I'm in the water store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to disinfect your water jug. Now, water jugs should be disinfected at least twice a year, just to make sure that uh, you're, not get, you're not infecting the water with bacteria from within the jug. So, super simple procedure. I can show it to you in seven steps. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to take a cup of rice. Yes, rice. And uh, so, you're going to want to pour the rice inside the jug. And then you're going to give it one squirt of uh, dishwashing liquid, something like that. And then you're just going to fill it with tap water. Now I'm using the water from our uh, U-fill um, section in our store. This is reverse osmosis water, but uh, just ordinary tap water is fine. And uh, so the rice is going to provide some grit inside there so that when you shake it up, it's going to uh, agitate the inside of the container. So, okay, so we've got about a gallon in there and then cover the end. And then you're going to want to agitate it for 30 seconds. Obviously you're going to want to do this over a sink so that uh, the water doesn't spill. Okay, so once you've agitated that for 30 seconds, then you're going to want to dump out that mixture of uh, soapy water and of course the rice, and uh, you're going to rinse that out. All right. So once we've rinsed that out, you're going to add one ta whoops, one tablespoon of bleach to this container, whoops, it's always better to measure it. Also be very careful with bleach around your clothing and that especially if you have good clothing on. And you're going to put again another gallon of water in here. And again, ordinary tap water is just fine. Now the, the mixture with the bleach and the water, that's also could very easily ruin your clothes. So you put a cap on it and then you're going to shake it up again. So you want to shake it for 30 seconds. And what that's going to do is two things. One, it's going to coat all surfaces of the, the water jug on the inside, but it's also going to mix that bleach and water solution so that you've got a, a, enough, you'll have about 200 parts per million of uh, chlorine residual in there and that will uh, shock disinfect uh, the inside of the, of the jug. So then what you're going to let it do is you need to let it sit overnight with the cap on and that contact time is what's going to fully disinfect inside the whole um, jug. So obviously I'm not going to let it sit for that whole amount of time now um, for the purposes of this video. So after it's sat overnight then what you'll do is you'll carefully pour out that bleach and water solution because again it would damage uh, anything that it comes into contact with in terms of clothing or things like that. And then you're going to want to rinse it out. And you may need to rinse it several times. Again just rinsing it with ordinary tap water is fine. Again, you're going to pour it out. And once you've rinsed it several times and there's no more smell of bleach, then you're going to want to let it sit overnight, upside down, something like that, so it dries out. That's the process. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos that become available on this channel. If you'd like some more information, go to our website at www.thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.